welcome to my and Chris's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on. This video, we're talking about how you deal with, or how you can deal with trauma in 2023 stroke 2024. Mm. Um, dealing with trauma and that nowadays it's a lot different to when it's a lot it's different to how it was back in the 28, 20, 20 years ago. Yeah, I would say twenty years ago. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of resources available. There was no internet available. Was, I don't think the knowledge was there. No, it wasn't. There was no knowledge there no. twenty years ago. No, and now we have resources. We have Samaritans. We have shout. We have mind. We have rethink mental health. Mm. There's loads of other charities that I can't think of the top of my head. I think a lot you of know? it, a, a lot of it, is not necessarily the charities that come to fore. It's it's but more it's, mental it's, health it's, yeah it's it's as more well. it's more that the uh, the psychiatrists and the, the nurses the nurses yeah. the nurses and the therapists the, mm. they understand more mm. from the general knowledge that people that have mental health from 20 years ago have got a, no, a lot of knowledge mm. to give them to fall back on for the future people who do mm. get mental health as time goes on do you know what i mean me so, and you so the tra yeah so you and you and myself mm. are training the therapists for the future if you know what i mean because the time that they, they use us as training techniques because when i was doing my um, web chat with the um, but the, with the yeah. ASD yeah. assessor, she had people yeah. there watching, mm. and they were learning from what I was saying. Yeah. The trainees. I've also been in onto the psychiatrists, and they said that they had a psychiatric nurse there and another psychiatrist training doctor. So fair enough, they're learning from what we, I'm saying to them and what the psychiatrist is saying to me. So they learn something. I've got, to, I've got a, what, 30 years of knowledge of mental health. I've got over what, what, 25? Yeah. So yeah. They, they learn a lot from us. Yeah. But they don't learn so much from teenagers now. No. But you see, what they think, what they learn from us, they pass on to the teenagers of today. Yeah. And that's how it works. They don't need all this computer knowledge. No. They just build it out from There is more resources available. There is therapy. Mm. Yeah. You can do therapy online. You can mm. do it face to face. You yeah. can do it via text, phone, mm. message. There's so many avenues that you can go yeah. down now. Because to it, yeah. Get there's, that help. There's the internet now. Yeah. But there wasn't the computer knowledge. The internet's good because it has opened up that resources for more things. Mm. But obviously, there's there's the the bad side of the internet, you know, like mm. TikTok and that, for example, glamorising mental health and like self harm and stuff like that. Oh no, you know that, that's I mean? just wrong. That's wrong, you yeah, know. Quite frankly, true I've warning. I've seen videos of people saying, oh. I'm depressed, I've had such a bad day, I didn't go out today. Mm. But you see, the you thing know. is, at the end of the day, trigger warning coming up here, self-harming and images that you see on things like TikTok with skinny people and things like that is not an image to copy. No. You are who you are, exactly. regardless. If you are a self-harmer, that's what you do and try to get out of it that's what i say but yeah. for obvious reasons but if you if you do that it's difficult to stop trust me but what i'm saying is that if people are following the image of skinny people or you're naturally skinny or you're naturally chubby or you're naturally a little bit on the heavy side so what yeah, it you don't have to conform to any standards we are now in 2023 going on to 2024 mm. no no, you, you don't need to follow any image whatsoever about things that are on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, nothing like that. You don't need to follow any, anything. You don't need to make yourself anorexic and not eat anything. No. That's wrong. 
Oh. I don't believe in all this filtering stuff either. No, there's a lot of filters in that on TikTok. Mm, but it's just disgusting. And that, but people are who they are at the end of the day yes. and if they've gone through trauma which most of us will do at some point in our mm. life mm. we will go through some type of trauma it's part and parcel of life mm. it is mm. that's the reality mm. and that's what we're about reality but there is help and resources available now you can find help and resources through mental health through A and E, through yeah, the internet. You there's, know, always, there's always some way where you can find. The, yeah, there's always some way that you can mm. find to get help for whatever it is that you might need. You know, we're in the London area, so I can only oh. speak for the London area. There's you know. loads of places yeah. anywhere in, in yeah. the United Kingdom, I think. Yeah that you can get in touch with by phone. Yeah. You so. can just Google um, help for trauma and you'll find stuff on the internet. Mm. Literally just type in help for trauma. I know sometimes I, I did that once a few times and I will say this that the fear is that when if you phone somebody the fear is when you've got that in your, when you're in that state of trauma, the worst thing you want to be is on hold. Mm. But that's that that puts the fear of God into me sometimes, and I think to myself, "Am I going to be on hold? Because if I'm on hold, I'm just going to hang up." Yeah. And you have to think to yourself, "No, I persevere. Someone will answer the phone soon." Mm. And then, if they don't answer the phone, then five minutes or something like that then just phone somebody else yeah always always seek help if you need it i don't care where you get it from no it doesn't matter always seek help and if you can't get it from if, if you, you can't get it from one source go to another yeah if you can't get it from any sources on the internet whatsoever go to a and e yeah. Not necessarily they're going to section you because you've gone mad or anything like that. They will not. No. They will be there to listen to what you've got to say. Exactly. And they'll always be there. Yeah. And that's the best thing to do because, like I say, there is so much available now. Mm, there There's is. tons of stuff yeah. that's available now that people can But that get. didn't work. That, when I was, that was when I was in my 20s, was the fear that I would, I would have to be on hold. Mm. And you know, as, as, as once I was on hold for about ten minutes, I just thought, right, give up. Yeah, but don't stay. No, don't. Move it or phone somewhere else. No, that's yeah. the best thing to do. Mm. That's 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 the advice that we're saying. Mm. Do try and find something. There is mm. something there for everyone. Oh yeah. So you can find something at the mm. end of the day. There is always, the, yeah. So don't give up. That's basically the message, isn't it? Mm. And if you're going through something now, reach out. Ask for help and support. If there's no shame in asking for help to deal with trauma, whatever yeah, that might once. be. They said there's no shame in asking, but there's shame. That there's there's a lot of shame in not asking. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, mm. definitely. So that's what I'm going to say, ask for help and don't be ashamed. And on that note, I'm going to say bye for now.